Welcome to Russia 1.5 News, bringing you to you the latest and most reliable news in early 17th century Europe. I'm Leonid, this is Comrade Timofey. We bring to you France in the Thirty Years' War. France, though Catholic, fought on the sides of the Protestants in 1635, due to mainly political reasons. Already, France was against the Habsburg family, and wanted the Holy Roman Empire to remain fragmented to enhance its international stature. France was prompted into the war after the death of Gustavus Adolphus, and into the Swedes' defeat at the Battle of Nordlingen, and began to secretly fund Sweden. Soon though, France began to fight openly in the war. Let us go now to Sergei, who is... So, what is your opinion of the conflict in Germany? Uh, the French are controlling us. We're not able to make any decisions on our own. The German people are fighting themselves. It's just horrible for us. We're extremely poor. And now we're fighting this war against France because they want one of the Holy Roman Empire's provinces. Thank you. You, young boy. Oui. What is your name? I am Elie Durepo. I was born in La France. What is your feeling on the situation of France being involved in the war? Well, it's hard on the majority of the population, which is poor, who are being overtaxed and many are unhappy with the actions of the soldiers. What do you think that is? So France is one of the richest empires right now, they are still having trouble funding the military, so the Gabel and Thai will increase to compensate. Also unhappy about fighting on the Protestant side. A lot of us are angry about that. Thank you, Mr. Durabo. Now to Spain. Hello, my name is Sergei from Russia 1.5 News. Here in Spain, what is your opinion on the waging war against France? Hola, hombre. Uh, I don't understand why our people are fighting against France. Uh, it is uh, political reasons only and it is not for religious reasons. Um, Spain had a war against the Dutch and we had a truce, but now we are fighting the Dutch again and we are fighting France as well. And that means that we have even less money and our treasury is already empty. We already have no monies. So now it's hard for the government to take care of the people. Thank you. That was our opinion of our foreign comrades. Now back to you, Lenin. Thank you, Sergei. We fear that this could cause a mass rebellion in both high and low French classes, as peasants are angry over increased taxes in nobles due to the royals' gain in power. France may have to back down due to internal strife. Russia need not worry about what is happening between France and the Habsburg family. We have no Catholics, or Protestants, only Orthodox. And vodka. <laughs> <laughs> and the needs of our country. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mother, I'm filming. I can't talk right now. I will be home. I will... I will leave at 6, okay? Alright. Okay, bye. Set. Do more movement or something? No, I can't no, really. No, no. I mean, I'm Ready? Russian. Right? Ready, set, action. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. I just, I just thought if I you take you apart, <laughs> and it's like so much. Just forget about that. <laughs> Welcome to Russia. <laughs> Shut up! I want you to smile. Oh my god! He smiled. <laughs> I'm Leonid. What the fuck is wrong with you, man?